Once upon a time, there was this couple, and they found out that they were pregnant. So they prayed to God that they just have a healthy baby. Baby was born, and it was this beautiful, dark-haired young lady. I was the first one that got to hold her, and when I grabbed a hold of her, I prayed to God one more time, and I said, Lord, please make her like her mom. Those of you that know Patty, know how sweet she is, how kind, and how she's always thinking of everyone else, and it turned out she's just like her mom. Well, that lasted for a while, and then Dad felt a little bit left out, so I prayed to God one more time, and I said, make her like me. God listened one more time, and he made her very creative, very hardworking. Pretty much everything she does, she does like her dad. <laughs> That's kind of scary. So I prayed to God one more time and I said, God, please make her like you. So he did. And he, he let her build it build this place and every day of the week she meets with young couples and she makes the most important days of their life the easiest days of their life Patty and I would stay up at night and we said God just make our little girl happy and two years ago she met Troy That smile she's got on, she's never had that smile until she met you. We met at a niece's soccer game. I had been at Lexi's game cheering and Troy had been at his niece's soccer game and one of our friends called on the way and she said I just left my niece's game and oh my goodness she hung up the phone on me. Didn't really think much of it and literally about an hour or two later after the game was over she called me up and said hey I think I got somebody that that might work well for you. She thought of oh I know someone that I want you to meet that loves his nieces and nephews as much as you do. <laughs> so that's how it ends. I can tell you from experience, there is nothing better than marrying your best friend. It's someone you love, it's someone you respect, and it's someone that's every bit your equal. And Troy's made the best decision of his life, Annie. Uh oh, I hear footsteps. No peeking yet? You can peach. I can. Hey, baby. Hi. being her big sister, I have always lived in her shadow. And that's not a bad place to be because she is a fireball and you all know that. If it were not for Annie and her heart, her work ethic and her perseverance, LA Gourmet would probably be called Al's Barbecue and we'd be eating canned baked beans. But she has been blessed with incredible faith in God, a huge imagination and a growing vision for the potential of each day if you're one of her beloved, not a moment passes that she believes the great impact that each of you can have on the world around you.
Albert Schweitzer said, at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those who have lit the flame within us. Be that light for one another. And when you can't be the light, be the mirror to reflect the other's light so that together you can overcome any darkness. Yeah.